in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to block in an environment using the digital water. Digital water is my favorite um, tool in uh, Corel Painter. I just love it. Um, and it's perfect for blocking in, especially the way I approach a painting as far as shape, uh, form, color detail. So I'm covering the canvas with kind of a light gray overall. Um, we'll get just a little bit lighter, just and we'll start to just give an indication of maybe some clouds up here, uh, and things like that. So um, again, I approach things uh, as far as uh, um, my paintings go, I consider the shapes first. So I'm going to make this a sky painting. Uh, what I mean by that, it's going to be mostly sky. Um, so I'm going to bring uh, down here in the bottom third uh, will be um, a kind of a mountains or hills. Okay, so that's you just go ahead and cover that all down here uh, on the bottom, and then I'm going to go just a little bit darker, uh, creating some atmosphere perspective. I don't want to follow the same form as the shape that I created in the back. So we'll make this one just a little bit more jagged, like so. So we're just starting to layer in a couple um, values that start to give me um, the sky back here. We've got the um, background mountains, and then we've got some mid-ground mountains. Uh, and then we, in the foreground, what I'm going to do is kind of stay with the same uh, theme that I did in the last videos uh, of a tree house, uh, and, but it'd be an odd tree house. This is a tree house that your um, parents uh, won't let you uh, play on, all right? Um, because we were just going to uh, block in some fun shapes and the tree is going to be hanging over the edge of a mountain. And the beauty of digital water is, again, that you can um, uh, paint light to dark and dark to light uh, and pull back in some of that value. So we'll pull this tree up. We'll let the tree go a little bit off canvas here. Uh, it'll be kind of a pathway eventually that comes down uh, underneath here. Um, and so basically with just uh, a few values that I've played with, I've kind of set up uh, my environment. We'll pull a little bit of a shape down here um, into the foreground also. So uh, again, just a few values and I've got um, an environment going. Haven't really considered um, form yet. Uh, this is just uh, in the shape stage. So as I go to um, form, uh, let me uh, go ahead and make this a little bit more interesting. This shape here. Um, maybe a root that comes out and down with a little bit of air in there um, and then some rocks that kind of bubble out uh, and create a little bit more interest to that particular silhouette. All right. Um, so we just have the shapes down and now um, we go to form. So I decide where my light is going to be coming from and I'm going to have again my light coming from the right side uh, to the left side. So. Uh, if I grab that value there and get just a little bit lighter in the background, I don't want a lot of value contrast in the background um, because I don't want to draw um, attention uh, to the background. It's just part of the environment uh, and it's fading way back off into space. So um, just pulling some values out like this. When I paint rocks uh, or any kind of mountain, mountains aren't... Uh, so you can see here a little too much repetition in the pattern. So we'll vary that up just a little bit here. So those mountains in the background are going to flatten out just a little bit. And pull this um, light across into this darkness just a little bit and maybe link some of these in the plains of those mountains. When I paint rocks uh, or mountains, let's say um, uh, these, these rocks right here uh, uh, which way, you know, how do you decide which way your brush stroke is going to go? Well, um, I have an easy um, thought process for that is I just think of a tennis ball. Um, how would that tennis ball roll on that particular surface if a tennis ball was dropped on that surface? So if the rock, if I grab that value there and get just a little bit lighter, that means this is coming straight down, that plane 
right there is coming straight down. Now, if I have a pathway that I bring into this a little bit, it's going to kind of go this way. And so whatever the way the tennis ball rolls is the direction of your brush stroke. Uh, so you can see in um, just a few quick moments, um, you can develop an environment uh, just by using shapes. And now I'm moving to form, considering where my light's going to be. Um, I've already uh, started to develop this mountain range in the back. Uh, we'll grab that value there and get just a little bit lighter uh, and start to do the same thing with um, this uh, mountain here. Actually, I'm going to go just a little bit darker here so that my darks aren't as, or my lights aren't as light as the, uh, the background uh, mountains. And again, I'm just thinking about how the planes uh, and the plane changes and that's the direction uh, that my brush stroke goes. And what I should have done, I think, is brought this over here. We can really make this precarious. And again, this is the beauty of digital water is I can bite back into it with the value because I haven't dried it. Um, so it's a, this is one of the reasons why I think it's such a great uh, blocking tool. So um, maybe we would have a zip line running across here uh, with, uh, you know, um, and this is where the, the tire swing would go uh, in this particular uh, environment. Now, I love tree houses, and again, I've never had my own tree house. Uh, they're kind of fun. I haven't built one for my kids because I don't live in a neighborhood where I can do that. Um, and I'm sure that my parents would have never let me uh, play in a particular tree uh, house like this. So I haven't really gotten into the, the house structure yet. So let's get just a little bit darker, and uh, because I'm looking up at it, we'll pull bottom side of this tree house through here and then maybe we'll get just a little bit lighter. And you can see I'm just playing with just some real basic shapes uh, to begin with. Uh, and obviously branches are going to be cutting through those areas to um, uh, prop up the, uh, the tree house. So as you can see just real quick uh, in a, in a uh, using the digital water tool, allowing me to go from light to dark and dark to light, I can set up uh, an environment quickly uh, and then start to uh, consider more detail. So as far as this goes, I like kind of how this is in these, this upper third is going to be the focal point. Uh, maybe we'll put a little child on the, the, uh, the uh, uh, tire swing that overhangs this cliff uh, and uh, um, but this is how I, I basically set up an environment um, real quick. If I can only spend a few minutes in getting the composition, uh, composition squared away, uh, then uh, um, I'm good to go. And then I can spend the rest of the time developing uh, the entire uh, painting.